We're going to capture pictures from outer space with the ICOM IC705. The IC705 is a fantastic radio for capturing slow scan TV from the International Space Station. And this is one of the easiest ways to get into space communications and, and, and participate in things, uh, the things that are flying around our planet. The setup is very basic. You need your radio, you need a computer to decode the images, and you need an antenna. And for the International Space Station, because it pushes so much power, roughly 10 watts from what I've, I've been told, uh, the signal's fantastic and you don't need a super antenna, a very high gain antenna. As a matter of fact, when I first started, I was capturing images from the space station with a 5 8 wave vertical uh, mounted to my IC9700 and they came out great. So don't feel that you need to invest a lot of money into equipment for this. It is super simple and I'll show you today. Uh, there's the, the software for the for slow scan TV is there's free options for both Mac and Windows for for Mac today I'm going to be using MultiScan 3B uh, which is a decent fairly simple and easy to use program and for Windows I've used uh, MMS TV uh, also a very easy to use program and, and it's been tried and tested for for many years. And what I've been told is recently they came out with a new version of it, uh, I believe Yonique, and I'm not sure about the pronunciation. I, I think it's uh, Y-O-N-I-Q. You can search for it online. They're fairly easy to set up and, and get good results. For a normal pass of the International Space Station, if they are broadcasting slow scan TV, you can usually get two plus images per, per pass. And today we'll actually capture two, two uh, images and show you how we did it of reasonable quality. It was only a 30 degree pass, so it was not really high in the sky. But uh, I find, especially if you're gonna use a simple antenna like a vertical antenna, uh, the, the best passes are those that are at more of an oblique angle. If they're directly overhead, the vertical antennas will have a, a deep null and so you'll miss part of the pictures. So actually I find a sweet spot of maybe 50 to 60 degree elevation. So today in the video, I'm actually showing the full capture of the, the audio from, from the space station because you can actually take the audio from this video and play it back through one of these softwares and probably decode the, the image. I have done that in the past and so I think you may be able to do that as well. And if you're still with us at the, the second uh, capture, I'll actually have an added bonus tip for how to make it even simpler to, to capture the slow scan TV images from International Space Station. Here's my setup, very basic, just the radio and my MacBook Pro, both operating off battery and my Elk antenna. The International Space Station is the next satellite and will be visible in five minutes and 36. Because the capture is audio, make sure you turn off any sounds on your applications. Since I'm manually aiming my antenna, I keep Mac Doppler open in the background so I can see the azimuth. And then I open up the, the Multiscan 3B.
Okay, considering the static on the signal, this didn't turn out too bad. I am having so much fun in this space station. So to make this even simpler, you don't even need to bring your computer with. You can be out in the field anywhere with your radio, with your ICOM 705. Simply turn on the recording feature, record the signal, and then you can play it back later on the application and for me, Multiscan 3B. And that's what I'll show you right now. So you just returned from somewhere out in the field where you captured the signal from the International Space Station. It's still in your radio here. All you had was your radio with the antenna. Uh, so what we do is we, we just turn off the radio, pull the SD card. All right, with the radio off, we come down to get out the SD card, which is almost a surgical operation, but there we go. We got our... SD card, we just insert it into the adapter and install it into our MacBook Pro and we turn it on. So with my mouse, I just come over to the, the 705 folder. Seven oh five folder. We go all the way over here to voice, and then we got to scroll all the way to the last folder with with the uh, audio clip. Here's the wave file, and it's nothing more than just starting the wave file, and then starting the multi scan software. It's picking up the audio from the from the laptop. So basically the Multiscan 3B software is just picking up the audio that's being played off of the SD card that's in the in the SD card slot. I'm not gonna bore you by going through the next three minutes of listening to the the signal because you've already listened to it once earlier, so I'll, I'll cut to the chase. And there's the capture by the software. This one turned out extremely well with just the one minor streak of noise towards the bottom. 
I love being in outer space. I wish you were here.